close, Robert with Self Reliance Mindset. Hey, it's Sunday. Uh, Going to do an update on the the chicken series here. Um, last Sunday, I did a, showed you how I set up the shed, and then I did a quick video Wednesday that the chicks were here. If you missed that, I'm sorry. Uh, but today we're going to do a uh, update. I'm going to try to do these updates on Sundays, and that way you see the progression a uh, week at a time. And uh, so we're going to sit here and look in here and see what they're up to. So uh, it's uh, feeding time. So here we go. You see here, the lights are on. We got chicks all over the place here. Here's our uh, our buff oppressions. Um, sorry if the light's kind of messing with uh, the camera there. We will, uh, as you can see, they're in there. They're all calm. They're running for me. They're still kind of a, they're still kind of skittish there. But if you notice the other day, I don't know if I can get a zoom in, zoom in on one of them out here. But, uh, They're, they're feather tips. There you can see there's one right there. Feather tips. Uh, they're starting to get their wing feather tips on there. And that was one of the changes I want to show you. They've probably grown, oh, at least an inch and a half. Um, there's one right there. See the blue spot on his head? That's supposed to be our rooster. They marked the rooster. And uh, we got, um, we got, let me back off here. We got our turkey here wants to say hi. This is uh, Moose. A uh, girl's named a mo named her Moose, and uh, so you know, we got one down here just being yeah lively. Make sure it's lively. So far, we haven't lost one. And uh, there's a big size difference here. These are these guys right here are the uh, the meat breed. I think they call them a Cornish cross. And I don't know if they're going to be a scale whether you're going to be able to tell. They're the same way. They uh, they got, in fact, they probably got a little bit more of their, 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 more of their wing feathers developed. But uh, these guys right here, I tell you the process with these. We give them food and water. Um, these guys right here, we have to restrict their feed. If we let them full feed, they would... Uh, just keep eating and eating and eating. Um, these guys, they was slightly bigger than the other ones when they come in, um, but but pretty much, you know, and we're just talking slightly bigger. And uh, they have, they're probably, oh, I would say a third of the other one's size. So um, they, they grow a lot faster. These guys, I think it's like 10 to 15 weeks, these guys are supposed to be uh, in the freezer, uh, these are these are strictly meat breeds. So, um, at night we pull the feed away from them at night, so they don't have no feed in the middle of the night, so they just can't eat and eat and eat 24/7, because um, they will do that. So, uh, not so much now, but eventually. Um, I had these feeders. I filled these feeders completely full this morning. You can see they they eat quite a bit. And so, all right, uh, that's the update. We're going to. Uh, um, Sit there and let you go, and we'll give you some more updates uh, next week. And uh, till then, uh, you guys have uh, a good one.